Hi, this is Pastor Rini Charest, and today we're going to talk about will AI replace marriages? Remember to hit the like right now and subscribe. Send this video to a friend. Let's build our online viewership as we deal with difficult topics and bring biblical solutions. Today we're going to talk about our marriages in jeopardy with this new revelation that factories are building male and female reproductions and people are falling in love with them and marrying them. Will this endanger our marriages? Let's find out. Well, today we're going to talk about whether or not AI and VI, artificial intelligence and virtual intelligence, and the robots that are being created are going to replace our marriages. Let's look at this video and I'm going to respond. This woman is officially breaking the internet after she announced that she'll be getting married to an AI chatbot, which she describes as the perfect man. 36-year-old Rosanna Ramos from New York identifies as a digisexual, meaning she's attracted to robots. In this case, a $300 AI software replica calling her virtual husband Aaron Cartel, based off the character in Attack on Titan. The mother of two says she's never been happier with her custom-made partner, and best of all, no judgment, what? as they talk to each other all day. This may be the future. What do you think? This all right. <clears throat> well, you got to admit, the guy's got good abs. <laughs> Is AI, artificial intelligence, VI, virtual intelligence, and the industries that are building these robotic men and women, is this going to replace our marriages? And how are we going to combat this? And what does the Bible say about this? Let's give a Bible perspective, a scriptural perspective about AI, because I really believe it's in the Bible. I believe this is going to be something that we're going to have to deal with in humanity. And let me read you a prophecy by the prophet Daniel in Daniel 2, 40-43. He says, And there shall be a fourth kingdom strong as iron, because iron breaks to pieces and shatters all things. And like iron that crushes, it shall break and crush all these. And as you saw the feet and toes partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, it shall be a divided kingdom, but some of the firmness of the iron shall be in it, just as you saw iron mixed with soft clay. And the toes of the feet were partly iron and partly clay. So the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly brittle. As you saw the iron mixed with soft clay, so they will mix with one another in marriage, but they will not hold together, just as iron does not mix with clay. Now, I know that Daniel is talking about the kingdoms, but it's amazing that he places marriage in the midst of this man-made iron clay production. It says in Romans 1, 21-23, For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools. And they, in exchange the glory of immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. It is a revelation that man is going to create many images other than the image of man that is made in the image of God. And so if you look at all the industries, the female robots, the male robots, all these talking robots that will have artificial intelligence within them with a virtual, virtual intelligence for the human to experience th those imitations. It is a real factor that's happening right now. And they're going to be selling these individuals, these male and female reproductions that are not made in the image of God, but are produced in a factory in the image of man. And it says in 1 Corinthians 15, 40, there are heavenly bodies and earthly bodies, but the glory of the heavenly is of one kind and the glory of the earthly is another. I believe it is clearly explaining that we are going to see in the end times uh, that man is going to try to reproduce himself without the soul that is given to all humanity. It says in 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5, it says, But you should know this, Timothy, that in the last days there will be very difficult times. For people will love only themselves will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God, 
disobedient to parents, and ungrateful, they will consider nothing sacred. So again, there is this move of men and women marrying artificial, man-made, uh, imitation men and women. And so already we're seeing people trying to replace man and woman created in the image of God with some kind of artificial replica. I love what it says in Psalms because this kind of clears up a lot for us. Psalms 139, 13 through 15. It says, For you formed my inner parts, inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that you were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. It is clear that the creation of, of humanity through the procreation of a man and a woman is God's desired way to create humanity. And in the latter days, people are going to repl be replacing that with a cheap imitation. And as Daniel said, it will be part clay, part iron. In other words, it will be from substance of the, of substance of the earth but it will be void of the Spirit of God. Now, what has this got to do with AI and VI? Virtual intelligence, artificial intelligence. There's creating, as we speak, people creating experiences that connect the human to the inhuman. The artificial intelligence that's placed within these uh, uh, replica male and females uh, is allowing individuals to have this faux emotional connection to something that was created by man, not by God. And if a woman could create a perfect husband that does everything she says, or a man create a woman who does everything he wants, and you rip out the spiritual component, you are creating, in essence, an idol. And that idol will interfere with the hard work of relationships between the enmity between a man and a woman that happened at the fall. And so I could totally see, as you could, the enemy of God, the enemy of humanity, trying to create false relationships, false love, false emotions in a robotic being with artificial intelligence and virtual intelligence, and people can are, may replace the, rec, the real relationship and the covenant agreement of marriage with a doll, basically. A man-made male or female doll. A Barbie and Ken, if you would. So what do you think? Do you think that this reproduction of, hum of humans through and in the installation of AI, VI intelligence within them is going to s cause suffering with the difficult work of a man and woman working out their issues together in the holy covenant of marriage? Keep an eye on it. Watch how many are mar getting married to these creatures invented by man, not in the image of God, and void of the soul given to us when we are created in our mother's womb. Well, I love your feedback. Let me know. Anything else you want to talk about, let me know, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.